Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my September favorites. I don't have too many favorites, but I just wanted to share with you a couple of products that I was just loving the month of September that I used a lot and I just, I love them all. So we're going to go ahead and get started just so I don't ramble too much. So if you guys want to see what my September favorite products were then just keep on watching so the first thing that I really wanted to share with you guys because I think it's a really cool and interesting um, app is this one right here and I will show you a close-up this app is called deal seal and it's pretty much um, an, an app where you can buy anything you know you can buy clothes you can buy some shoes um, they have some accessories, they have clothing for kids, like toddlers, babies. So it has a whole bunch of really cute um, stuff for really affordable prices. I was able to order one dress and I ordered just one because I really wanted to check out the quality. But it's just this really cute, it's a kind of like a long dress. But it fits me a little bit shorter than my style, but I think I can make it work. And it just has these really cute little mangas and these little, like, tassels. And it's just, it's super cute and it's so comfortable. The fabric is really nice. I believe it's cotton and I just loved it. It's so cute and comfortable. So if you guys are interested in um, downloading that app, I will have links to where you can download it. So I'm first gonna start with primers. I have two primers to show you really quickly. I did recently do a Waste or Worth It Wednesday on primers, the best ones for oily skin. And I did talk about the Black Radiance Complexion Perfection Shine Control Primer, but I don't think I've mentioned it in a favorites video. And if I did, I'm sorry. But I absolutely love, love, love this product. This is amazing for oily skin. You guys know that I have really oily skin in my T-zone. And I guess the rest is pretty normal. So I would consider myself combination to oily skin. But I mostly say that I'm oily just because this area here just gets out of control. This has helped me so much since I've gotten it. It's a really nice consistency. A little bit of this goes a long way. You really don't need to pack it on. So yeah, I just love this. It keeps me matte all day. I really hardly see any shine peeking through when I wear this primer and it's really affordable. A lot of you guys recommended this to me. So thank you so much to everyone who told me about this brand. I love it. Another primer that I've also been loving is the number seven Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. Now, this one is hypoallergenic, which is amazing for me. I have came to find out that I have intense sensitive skin, which is crazy because it's oily, but it's so sensitive to everything else. So this has been working amazing for me too. Again, it's hypoallergenic and I have not found that it has made me break out. And this is a really nice moisturizing primer. Now with this, it is hard to work with. You have to use it really quickly. So these are not those type of primers that you can just dot all over your face and then take the time to go in and blend it. You literally have to dot some on your chin, blend it, and then just do the same wherever you have um, issues with oiliness. So I do like it though because, again, it just keeps me matte all day. Both of these are really nice. Now talking about primers, I have fallen and love all over again with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the Mattes and Poreless. I did a whole review on this foundation months ago, which surprisingly got thousands of views. So I was really impressed how many people were interested in this foundation because everybody is out to get a smooth looking um, skin without any pores or anything like that. I love this foundation again. This is what I'm wearing on my skin today. And first of all, I love how it covers up any little blemishes that I have without me looking too heavy on the skin. It's very light. I don't really feel that I have too much going on on my skin. And it is the perfect match for me right now. I have a really hard time trying to match foundations to the rest of my body. 
because most of the foundations that I have have a little bit of those yellow undertones which I do not have so it's always a battle to find a foundation that matches me perfectly and this is it's just it it does that I use the color 322 warm honey and I just love it. It's a really, really good foundation and super affordable. Now, what I've also really been into is applying a cream contour. I've had this foundation stick forever, but I just always forget to use it. This is the Fit Me Shine Free Foundation, and this just comes in a stick like this. I got a color super dark, which is Coconut 355, and this is a couple of shades darker than me. I think I might need to get a lighter one because this does have a little bit of that orange tint to it. But I've been loving this. If you follow me on Snapchat, sometimes I'll post pictures of when I'm doing my makeup. And a couple of days ago, I posted a picture when I was contouring um, using this stick and I love it. Um, it's really good and it's shine free so it's perfect for oily skin and it blends out really, really nicely onto the skin. And I've been using a lot this sibling brush by e.l.f. This is the small sibyl brush and I use this just to um, pretty much blend out my contour with this and it just uh, it blends it out so nicely. These two together are just perfection. Um, if you guys want to see maybe like a contour video of me, of me using this let me know and I will film that because I just been loving these two together. And then my last beauty product as far as like makeup goes is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. I know this is super old. Um, it's an oldie but definitely a goodie. I have so many bronzers that sometimes I forget the ones that I have. But I've been using this one so much. I just love the consistency of this bronzer and it's so dirty. But I love the consistency of this bronzer. I love how creamy it is. And I like... I feel that this doesn't really have a lot of orange tones to it. It's like that perfect brown color with a little bit of gray undertones in my eyes. This is what I use today to just contour all over my skin and just bronze up and just use it as a bronzer just to give a little bit of warmth to my face. And I love it. It's super inexpensive as you can see. I've totally hit pan on this. So I'm going to have to get a backup of this bronzer. If you love this then you know, this 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 is my G, this is my go-to bronzer now. So I, I love it so much. Let me know if you guys love this product or if you totally hate it. With the winter coming up and everything like that, I've been trying to take care of my hair a lot more. As you can see, Curly Sue is out. This is my natural hair. It's so crazy and frizzy and curly and it's just, it's a little out of control. So I've been using a lot the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In products. I did get a sample size because the big bottle is pretty expensive and I wasn't sure if I was going to love it or if it was going to work on my hair. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this and I decided to give it a try. I am like halfway done with this because I use this every time I wash my hair. This has left my hair leaving so silky and smooth. So yeah, I totally love this. It leaves my hair super smooth again and I think I'm definitely going to invest into the big bottle because this is, yeah, it's almost out. And then um, another beauty product, I guess, it's not makeup related, but it's, you know, beauty. Definitely has to be this Tatcha oil. I have used it in one of my previous tutorials. This is a Tatcha Gold's Camellia Beauty Oil for face, body, and hair. Um, it says here to just apply a few drops anywhere on the face, um, on your body, or your hair for deeply nourishing hydration. This stuff is amazing. And it smells so good and luxurious. Oh, I can just drench myself in this. What I like to do is I just like to take a couple of drops and apply it after I've applied my moisturizer at night or in the morning. It just depends on my mood. So I definitely need to have an oil that's just going to nourish my skin. And this is really good. If you can get a sample of this, um, I don't know, at Sephora, I would highly suggest for you to try it out. I think you're definitely going to love it. The last product that I want to talk about is about skincare as well. And this is the, the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This locks in hydration at skin's peak moisture moments for luminous skin. I got mine in Manoi oil or this one right here. I saw the commercials of it 
last month and I was immediately sold. So I am that type of person that I never wear lotion on my skin. I'm like, soy bien nuevona and I just don't like to put lotion on my skin. It just, I feel like it takes up too much time and I know that's so bad because I am not taking care of my skin. I know, don't judge, but I'm just so lazy. Like I get out of the shower most of the time. My daughter wants to shower with me so I have to get her lotioned up, get her dressed, blah, 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 blah. So I just feel like I don't have time to put lotion on my skin. I always do put lotion on my hands, so and sometimes on my feet. Um, definitely on my face. This has made such a huge difference on my skin. All you do is, as soon as you get out of the shower, you can do it in the shower, or I like to step out of my shower before I um I get my towel, and I'll just squeeze some of this and just apply it all over my skin it feels really strange because your skin is wet and it almost feels like you're you know like you're not really rubbing anything in but you just get about a, a dime size or a little bit bigger depends you know whatever you want and I'll just rub it in all over my skin while I'm still you know all nice and wet <laughs> I'll just apply it all over my skin and then I'll take my towel and I'll just dry it off and then I'm good to go and the first time that I used it, I was like, oh my god, what is this? Has an angel touched my skin? It felt so smooth. I love this. If you haven't tried it and you are an alligator skin like me, try it. I think you'll love it. So that is it for my September favorites. I know it was a little bit random and a little bit scattered with things, but these are just the things that I honestly loved all the month of September and I will continue to use for I don't know for however I feel like using it so as always let me know what your favorite products were for the month of September you guys know that I always am um, hunting for new products so definitely let me know you know what your favorite was for September and I believe that is everything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video bye